So OpenAI just released a new AI tool called Agent Kit, and with this AI tool, you can easily build a custom AI agent that has been powered by some models from OpenAI. And by the way, this tool basically available for everyone. You don't have to subscribe to the paid version of ChatGPT because after all, this is a tool for developers. And I think that's a point that I need to emphasize here because even though it is making the process of creating agent becoming a lot easier, this tool is still somewhat quite challenging to use especially if you're not quite familiar with some technicalities of creating AI agents so i think for most people you don't have to create a custom AI agent using agent kit i think the regular version of ChatGPT is more than enough for day-to-day -day use but if you want to create a custom solution or you want to create something for your organization then i guess i'll show you how you can access agent kit from open ai and later i'll do a quick demonstration where i'm creating a simple AI agent using this AI tool so the first thing that you need to do is you have to navigate to platform.openai.com and this is actually different than your chat gpt account you might have a chat gpt account but that does not mean you have account on this developer version of OpenAI. So you can still log in using the same email as in your ChatGPT account, but you still need to provide some information like your organization, your name, etc. And after that, you can create an account for OpenAI platform. Now, after that, you can log in and you will see this kind of screen and you can click dashboard and if you want to create an AI agent, you can click agent builder. Now, before that, I do recommend to navigate to settings because here there, there are a few points that not many people mention every time you want to create an AI agent. There are a few requirements that you need to fulfill. So number one, you have to verify your identity. So under general, you see that there's going to be a, dot, a button where you can verify your identity for your account. This is actually optional, but if you're not doing it, then there are some features in Agent Kit that is not available. One big example is you cannot preview or test the agent that you created. And that's actually a big deal because you don't want to deploy something that you haven't tested. So basically, verification is becoming necessary if you want to create AI agent. And I know this get very annoying because you have to provide some info like your ID card, your name, and you have to do some face verification, but that is very much necessary. Another thing that is necessary is the billing. So you have to provide debit or credit, credit card information and you have to top up some uh, balance for your account. So the minimum is $5. You can uh, actually give more, but the minimum is $5 and this balance will be used every time you call AI agent or uh, use the models from this AI uh, tool. Again, it is very much necessary. Now, after that, you can go back to the dashboard and then click Agent Builder. So you can click templates and there are some templates that were created by OpenAI teams. Now I'm going to open the one that I think looks very simple, which is Planning Helper. And this is one agent that uh, is created using Agent Kit. Now here on the left side, there are some tools that you can access, like there is the agent node that allows you to customize the AI model instructions. You can also enable some access like web search, file search, etc. And overall, I think this is going to be a an important part every time you are creating a custom AI agent. And also there are some other tools like MCP. There is also guardrails if you want to evaluate the input before uh, processing that to AI, then I think this tool is very useful. And there is also some logic on nodes like if else, while loop, and user approval. And there is going to be more tools in the future, but right now these are the ones that are available in the agent kit tool. Now I'm going to create a new one, so I'll just go back and I'll click this button to create a new AI agent. So the goal of this agent is I just want to get some emoji suggestion based on the input. It is very simple to the point that I actually don't need AI agent. I can use the regular version of ChatGPT, but this is for a demonstration. Okay, now here at the start, there is an input variable. So I will use it later on the next note. I'm going to click my agent right here. 
and let's call this one emoji agent and for instruction i will use this simple instruction sorry about that oh, let me just click this and i will add context and the context is just the input variable that we have uh, seen in the start so this is the same input variable that i use here on the ai agent now for the model I'll use GPT-5 Nano, it's a small model, and I think it is worth mentioning that you don't want to use a big model for a small task. So make sure to select the model that is appropriate for the job. And for reasoning, I think it is a simple job, so reasoning is not really necessary, so I'll keep it minimal. And again, you can allow this agent to access certain tools, but in this case, it is not really necessary. So I'll skip it. Now, let me just add another node and this time is user approval so let me just connect these two and i will specify the variable for this node which is output text okay let me just check my setting input output text okay uh okay that that's probably wrong let me just click this input text Okay, uh, I don't know it was labeled as red, but now it seems to be okay. So I'll just continue. Now I'm going to add another agent right here. This is will be this will be the approval. And the instruction is I just say here's your emoji and the context is this one. So it's from user approval. Okay, it's labeled as red again even though it should be fine let me check uh the message okay now it is okay again i don't know what's going on perhaps there are some glitches here but it seems to be okay again now i'm going to add another agent oh i forgot to mention that i have to switch to gpt5 nano and reasoning to be minimal there you go and lastly this is for rejection this one is just say Try again gpt5 nano and reasoning minimal okay so this is a very simple AI agent that i just built let me just click preview and test this AI agent so if i send a message like car it will suggest an emoji based on that input okay if i click approve then it will say hey this is your emoji there you go so far so good now i'm going to close this and I'll give a different response. So let me send the same message, which is, which is car. And I will reject the answer. Now, because I have enabled chat history, it should know that I need a different recommendation. So I will send the same message again, car, and you'll see it will suggest a different emoji because it knows that this one has been rejected by the user. And there you go. So. Yeah, it is actually very good and I think you can implement uh, this behavior in some applications and honestly, this is not uh, probably not the best way to represent the agent kit capabilities because it is so simple, but you can imagine that this tool may be able to enhance the experience on your application or your organization. So that's basically how you can access agent kit from OpenAI alongside with some basic demonstration on how you can use it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. I wish you a great day ahead.